Hey there, and welcome to this SVJDater tutorial. My name is Matt, and together we're going to learn how to create these really cool animated looping cat loaders. Let's get started. All right, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a new project, and you're going to want your canvas to be 400 by 400. All right, so 400 by 400 square, we wanna create our canvas. Here we go, so we have our canvas here. Now we wanna to go to our library and the great people at SVJDR have put together four cat illustrations for you to pick from or to download them all. So go ahead and upload those to your library. And I'm gonna be using for this demonstration, the sleepy cat. So I've already got it in my library. I'm gonna add it to my canvas here. So here is our sleepy cat. <laughs> he's so cute. Look at him just purring away. So he's there on our canvas. And if we open up our layer structure here, we can see there are a number of different layers. This head, obviously inside of this are lots of little details. Um, it's pretty cool how it was built. So if you want to, you can take apart those layers to see how that was constructed, but we're not gonna go into that in this tutorial. You're welcome to explore on your own. Um, and then we have other details like the strokes, and then we have this tail. So the tail and the legs are objects, and they are separate from, well, what I'm gonna show you now is the belly, body, and body stroke. So these are just circular strokes. So these are circles that have a dash to them. So a dash and a gap, and they are strokes. So this body stroke has a stroke width of 52 points. And it's uh, 60 here on the dash. So if I were to say, take this dash up to 500, you would see that that stroke loops all the way around. All right, so the this is just a stroked circle. So we're going to take that back down to 60. All right. So that is important to understand. For the most part, we will be um, animating that stroke as it loops around, but the tail and the legs, we will be rotating those. So what do I mean by that? Well, that's why you're here. So let's get started. Let's get down into the animation aspect of it. And right off the bat, this is the most, this is the trickiest part of the animation is getting this origin point situated right on your composition. So it's really important. So what we need to do is we need to turn on our grid. So let's go ahead and turn on back grid. So that'll put the grid behind our kitty cat here. And now what we want to do is we want to get our origin centered on this little dot here in the grid. But what's tricky is we don't want it centered with our entire composition right now because that's not actually the center of our belly, body, and body stroke. And so what we need to do is we need to select the head and then holding the shift key, I'm going to select all the layers down below it. Then, holding the command key, I'm going to deselect the body stroke, and then I'm going to reselect it. And what that's going to do is give me the origin for where this body stroke is. So now I need to align my cat with the origin of that body stroke in the center of my grid. So using the wheel on my mouse, I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to move my cat until he's right there at the center of that grid. Now I'm gonna zoom back out. Perfect. Now what we need to do is we want our tail and our legs, because we're gonna add rotation keyframes to those. So we want our tail to also be, have the origin of that same spot in the center of our grid. So let's make sure that up here is that we have snap to grid turned on. So I'm gonna to snap to grid. Then I'm gonna grab the origin of my tail and I'm gonna move it to the center of my grid. And then I'm gonna come over here to my legs layer and also move that origin to the center of the grid. 
Perfect. So now we have that taken care of, we can get into the animating. So let's go ahead and zoom in on our timeline a little bit. So we'll adjust this, zoom in, perfect. And let's select the body stroke, body and belly layers. And let's move forward one step on our timeline, right there. And let's go ahead and animate our stroke dashes. So we're gonna add a stroke dashes keyframes to these three layers. And now when that's set, we want to move forward right up until we are two steps away from that two second mark. So if you go to the two second mark and then two steps back, one, two. All right, now what we wanna do is we wanna come over here to our dashes, right where it says 60, let's highlight that and let's make that 300 like so. So our kitty cat just got a whole lot longer. All right. But he still seems pretty chill about it, so that's okay. So that's looking good. And now we want to then move forward. And we want to go, after the two-second mark, go four more steps. So one, two, three, four. We want to highlight these first keyframes. And then if I hit Command-D or Control-D, uh, I can duplicate those first keyframes. So it goes back to the start. So if I play this right now, that's what it looks like. It's going to grow, and then it shoots back. Perfect. All right. But obviously, my tail and my legs are not following the same because they're not on that same stroke path. So I need to add rotation keyframes to these. So I'm going to select my tail and my legs. And I'm going to go to rotate. All right. So I have my rotate keyframes. And now I want to make sure I come over here. And I'm going to add two more keyframes. But what I want to do is come up here to this rotate. And this is our degree. So we're not going to be over here in the turn, but we're going to be over here in the degrees. And if I highlight this area, and then if I hold the shift key and use the up and down arrows, I can increase this by increments of 10. So I'm going to get those legs and the tail to come around. And I think right around 155. So I'm releasing the shift key and I'm just going up by increments of one. So I think 155 looks about right. And then again, I'm going to progress to over top of these keyframes. I'm going to select my first two starting keyframes and again, control or command D and I'm going to duplicate those. So here we have this animation and that tail is following along nicely. Perfect. Cool. All right. We are making serious progress to bring this whole thing all together. Now is we're going to add, so we're going to click on our uppermost sleepy cat. And we want to add a rotation tool to the whole thing. So I'm going to go animate, rotate. And right off the bat here in this turn, I want to add two. So that's going to rotate two full loops. Then we want to come over to till we're on top of these keyframes. And we want to take this down to zero. And we want to add a 60 here to the degrees. All right, and now we want to progress over top of these two and then go back one step. And here we want to just bring this down to zero. So let's go ahead and play that. So if we start from the beginning, our cat does rotations while the tail, while the body grows and then comes back to its starting resting place. And the whole time our little cat is just sleeping away. This is pretty awesome. And you could leave it here and that would be terrific, but we could take this one step further just to add a little bit of polish. Let's go ahead and select all of our starting keyframes. We'll add a little bit of ease here. So we're gonna go ease in sign. And then we're gonna select all of these middle keyframes. We'll just add basic old ease out. That just add just a little bit more flair to this. There you go. So there you have it. Let's turn our grid off. 
and we can play that. And that is how you make a looping cat loader. So you would use this same approach for the other uh, illustrations, and you can make a whole grid full of looping cat loaders if you wanted to. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed that. I know I had a good time uh, creating this. Please continue to check out uh, all the work that's coming out of SVJader. It's an amazing platform. It's been just a true joy to be able to animate using the software. Uh, I continue to learn new things all the time. So please tune back in for great content and more tutorials coming out of SVJader. All right, take care.